Check the oil level in the vacuum compressor. Verify that there's an adequate amount of spindle coolant fluid. Make sure that the compressed air valve is open. Make sure that the air pressure is at 100 psi. Turn on the power on the wall. Turn on the power on the back of the machine. Verify the integrity of the spindle. By gently making sure that it does not rotate when you carefully touch it clockwise and counterclockwise. Retract the spindle. Hard home the machine. Verify that an adequately prepared tool with a sufficiently small diameter has been correctly placed in a tool holder so that you can use it for warming up the spindle. Enter the designated tool holder number where you have placed your warm-up tool and press enter to start the warm-up. After the warm-up is complete, begin to calibrate all tools that you intend to use. Gently put on the calibration magnets. Jog down in Z until you are about three fingers above the calibration plate. Hold zero to auto set the calibration. Remove the calibration magnet and repeat for any other tool you intend to use. When you have calibrated all tools that you intend to use, press cancel to exit the calibration mode and fetch the first tool that you intend to use. In this case, tool number one. Press cancel repeatedly to get back to the main interface. Plan where you intend to place the material on the machine bed. Any unutilized vacuum inlet with the same vacuum zone as is used, make sure to block with a rubber or a steel one. The others can be blocked with the MDF ones. Choose a vacuum sealing strip of adequate length and make sure to create a closed circuit with the vacuum sealing strip. Where two ends inevitably meet, make sure that the short end is extended inwards and the long end outwards. Place the material stock on the vacuum sealing strips in an orthogonal way. Activate the vacuum compressor and activate the relevant vacuum zone by rotating the handle in a counterclockwise manner. Make sure that the vacuum suction is adequately tight. Jog the spindle so that the tool is positioned above the material surface. Gently take the calibration plate and position it on the material surface. Gently take the calibration magnet and put it on the tool. Jog down in the set so that you are about three fingers above the calibration plate. Test the surface using tool number one. Hold zero to auto set. Place the calibration plate on the machine bed, but make sure to use something to increase the margin between the actual machine bed surface and the bottom of the calibration plate. Jog so that you are above the calibration plate. Jog down in the so that you are approximately three fingers above the calibration plate. Set the maximum depth. Hold zero to auto set. Gently reattach the calibration magnet and the calibration plate to the top of the machine. Jog to the designated home of the tool pop that you have set up in the tool pop. Set the soft home or the work origin. Go to your designated home and you're all set. Open the dust extraction valve by the cleaning station only slightly so that the limit switch there is released. With your post-process toolpath file correctly placed in your folder here in the DNC files subdirectory on the C drive, you are ready to start it from the CNC controller. To execute your toolpath, click the connect to computer button, go to the top of the list to go back one directory, go to your folder, Press enter to enter it. Select the relevant toolpath. Click enter to preview it. Having previewed it, click the execute button to execute it.
Press once again to confirm. When the tool path is complete and you're finished for the day, make sure to jog away to a position where it's easy for you to clean the machine and the machine bed. Click menu and go to shutdown, press enter and press enter to confirm that you intend to shut down the machine. It will unload the currently loaded tool and go back to the previous position. When the motor drives are disabled and it says OK to power down, you can power down the machine. This is done on the back of the machine, as well as on the wall. Disable the vacuum suction and turn off the vacuum compressor. Clean the CNC room, the machine bed and the machine with the hose. Make sure to fully close the dust extraction valve by the cleaning station.